Hey, what's up, Improvement Warrior? Jason Yun, back with you again. Hope you're having a fabulous day today. It is morning time and it is breakfast time. I tried to do this live, but internet was not strong enough for some reason. Second morning that it failed. But I'm making our morning breakfast superfood shakes. So mine, wife's, and daughter's. Okay, so wife and myself, we use the almond milk. Daughter will occasionally use almond milk, but usually in the morning she does the water. Okay, and then I've got this hemp oil superfood cold pressed. Spencer's the only one that gets that. She just gets a little squirt of it to get some different kinds of fats for her growing body. Everybody gets what is this? Potato starch. Resistant starch, so it helps feed the good gut bugs. Doesn't raise blood, blood, raise blood sugar. Like other carbohydrates, it goes straight through the uh, digestion process. Okay. So that's part one there. Then we add in the fats. My fat will come later because it's it's gotta wait. It's coconut oil. It's melted on the pan. It's gotta wait till the last second to add it in because otherwise it will form clumps. Which I don't want. Okay. So Spencer will get olive oil and I mix it up every once in a while with olive oil. So Spencer gets two and a half tablespoons and as she grows she gets more so we started with just one then she moved up to two now she's up to two and a half tablespoons wife gets avocado oil now mix hers up as well avocado oil olive oil or coconut oil She gets two and a half as well, but she will also get another fat here. Peanut butter, organic, natural, okay, Jif, Peter Pan, Skippy, all that super, super crap, one of the worst things you can have because there still is trans fats in that peanut butter as well. Okay. So myself, I will get two tablespoons. That was like one and a half right there. Wife will get one. About the spoon. This part. Okay. Everybody gets the salt. I get the most. So pink Himalayan salt, you can also use this good sea salt, or Redmond salt, Redmond's real salt. Okay. We need more salt, we came from the sea. Sea uh, salt is an electrolyte, magnesium, potassium as well. Some people will consider calcium as one. But super, super important to get those in, especially when you're doing lower carb. Salt's not the enemy. Table salt is avoid table salt like the plague. Okay, wife is the only one that gets this. This is collagen protein. She just has a scoop. 
It's because she sometimes won't drink my bone broth because I make it too salty. All right, what else is coming in? All right, other things. We've got activated charcoal. And so this is excellent for eliminating toxins. So just myself. And the wife will get a quarter teaspoon. So if you haven't looked up or used activated charcoal, it's excellent. Use it to brush your teeth, whiten your teeth, all that good stuff. What else is going in? Okay. Everybody gets greens. So superfood, powdered vegetables. So each scoop has got about 30, 30 vegetables uh, just compacted into a little powder form. Okay. And then Spencer just gets like a quarter scoop. Spencer will usually get two. Two shakes, myself and wife, just one throughout the day. So it's just got 30 calories, five carbs, three fiber, so two net, two net. And then everybody gets psyllium husk. So we just use quarter of a teaspoon. So this is excellent for helping you stay consistent with your poop. Okay. Very important on keto, low carb, high fat, but very important for everybody. So you should be pooping at least 12 inches per day. If you're not, then you're constipated and you're building crap up in your body. So poop, pee, sweat, one of our natural detoxification processes. And if they're not working, so if you're not sweating, you're not pooping, you're not peeing, then you're not getting rid of toxins and they're staying inside of you. And if you're not healthy or you're overweight, and need to look at that. Okay. Now, um, now we've got uh, spice. Okay. So all spice. Sometimes I'll use cloves. Sometimes I will use cinnamon, but I just learned there's a new toxin in cinnamon, so I need to do some more research to figure out. everything about that. Okay. Always coming up with new toxins. Gotta eliminate the toxins. Alright, now the actual shake. So Spencer will just do, will only do the chocolate mint. One scoop of chocolate mint, I add just like a, a little bit of pumpkin spice to hers, and I'm actually mix the wife's today, so she's going to get two, since she just was, was one shake, she usually gets two and a half to three scoops, so she'll get one scoop. Pumpkin spice, and then Spencer gets Isopro, which is our meal replacement. So the I, the one, the chocolate mint is a meal. No, the chocolate mint is a meal replacement. The Isopro is our pure whey protein. So all of this is grass-fed, undenatured, so it's not heated up like other protein powders, okay, which completely destroys the protein. So when you're cooking. You want to cook on low heat, never on high heat, because you'll destroy the, the protein, whatever protein you're cooking, eggs, steak, beef, whatever. Uh, okay, then our main flavors today is going to be mocha, seasonal shake. So our regular shakes are chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, peach, mango, and chocolate mint. And then we have pumpkin spice, mocha as our seasonal flavors. Okay. Might not be enough room for two. Okay. 
Mm. Yep, there's enough room. Now, sometimes I will just do, depending on how high of a carb day I'm doing, sometimes it'll be two scoops, sometimes one and a half, sometimes one, sometimes half, sometimes it'll just be pure ice of crow. It just depends on where my carb intake is today. But it is October, Squattober, Squat session today. Okay, so yeah, carb up a little bit. Uh, what else is going in? Chocolate. So usually when I add anything chocolate, chocolate mint, mocha, regular chocolate, I will add extra chocolate for that extra chocolate flavor. Just a tablespoon. Okay. This is unsweetened cocoa powder. Once I get rid of this, I got the cacao powder. Can't wait to try that. Got it from Costco. But last time I went to Costco, they didn't have my avocado mayo. So you guys better not be phasing that out. Okay, so everything's done there. So normally the shakes take 10 to 15 minutes, but some people say it's just like 30 seconds and you're done. Why not add superfoods? I say everybody add fat because it's going to help control your blood sugar, control your insulin levels, feed your brain. Now the brain is 60% fat. So if you're not feeding it, okay, the fuel it needs. If you're sick, overweight, have some chronic decision or condition, you need to be looking at that. Okay, so we'll make this shake for the wife in the ISO blender, and then I will add my will add my fat. Shake's done. Spatula everything out so you get it all. Coconut oil, in my opinion, is the best fat because it's got the most, the best fat in terms of cooking and everything that it can do. So I use it as a pretty much everything aftershave. It's one of my carrier oils for the essential oils. shakes. Video took about 15 minutes, but mm. perfect. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it. So links will be down below. And if you have questions about shakes, you want to make some healthy on the go quick kind of things, you can do it the night before as well. 
take it and go. No excuses not to eat, or no excuses to eat crap every single morning and feel like crap and not have energy and all that stuff. But appreciate you watching. If you have any questions on nutrition, fitness, mindset, anything, let me know. Check out the link below for our support page. Okay, Dreams Achieved, Mindset, Fitness, Nutrition, Cleanse, all that weave into one to make you the strongest person. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe if you're watching those on YouTube, Instagram, all that good stuff. Have a great day. Stay strong. Stay positive. Be the improvement.